This is the second video in our TB link router analysis tutorial. In this video, we focus on UART, which stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. When we say uh, asynchronous, that means there is no clock here. Uh, on the left, we uh, on the left you can see the tools we will be using in this video. Uh, here is the multimeter with the, its probes. Here we have a UR to USB adapter with a few uh, jumper cable, and in the middle, of course, uh, is our uh, router. Okay, so uh, after receiving the router, I disassembled the case so I can see the uh, board. And there were four uh, cables that uh, are connected to the antenna, which actually I I don't need them. So I uh, desoldered all of them, and this is how the uh, front side of the router uh, looks like. You may have noticed here we have four ad adjacent uh, holes on the board. Maybe here it's uh, clearer here, uh, which likely uh, these holes uh, correspond to the UART. Uh, generally, UART uh, interface at least has uh, two lines, transmitter, TX, and receiver, RX. And of course, when we want to connect, we need the ground uh, as well. In addition, UART requires baud rate. Why? Because unlike other uh, communication protocols, uh, UART doesn't have a shared clock. So uh, in this case, both the receiver and the uh, transmitter must agree on a communication speed. And this is uh, usually set by using this uh, baud rate. So the baud rate uh, itself specifies the number of bits uh, that are transmitted uh, per second. So in this case, uh, both nodes, transmitter and receiver can understand uh, the data being exchanged uh, between them. Uh, to make my life uh, easier, what I did actually, uh, I soldered four pin headers uh, here on the uh, on the UR. Actually, maybe we can look at this uh, here on the camera. Those are the pins I soldered. Um, just because now it will make easier if I want to uh, connect to each of these pins. Okay. So what is our task now? Our task now is to identify the functionality of each of these bins. Okay, how we can do that? That leads us to the uh, concept of continuity test. Okay, what is uh, continuity test? Uh, originally, uh, the continuity test was used to verify the integrity of the cables. What that means? That means uh, if you want to uh, check uh, if the cable is able to uh, send or receive signals, then we use this uh, continuity test. Let's uh, uh, go to the camera window and uh, check first, look at our uh, multimeter. Uh, the multimeter is usually uh, has a different uh, operating mode. Uh, you can see here, for example, this is the voltage, here it's the ampere, and here uh, the resistance. And here, this is uh, the continuity test. So the idea is simple. I set the multimeter here on the continuity test uh, mode, and usually now, uh, if I touch both uh, probe together, we will hear a peep. See? Uh, of course, that's happened because now uh, this we are connecting directly. So now the idea, let's uh, test on another cable. I bring this uh, simple jumper cable. I will connect one end uh, to the black probe. And now, when, once I touch the other end, if I hear a beep, so that means the cable is fine. And if I don't hear a beep, that means the cable is broken. And I hear a beep again. So this is uh, the continuity test. It's really simple. We will use uh, this uh, concept in our uh, case here because we want to identify the uh, ground uh, on one of these pins. So what we will do, uh, I will take again the black cable here. I will connect it to the general ground here on the board. Uh, 
and now I will touch each pin on these pin headers and the pin that's uh, when I hear a sound that means this pin is the ground let's do that I start with the first one from the right there is no sound second one ah I hear a sound so now I know the second one is the ground let's uh, use the same with the third nope and the fourth nope so only the second is the ground so by using this symbol test now we know that the second bin in our bin headers is the uh, ground okay we identify one uh, one pin functionality what's uh, the second so uh, yeah here you can see what we did uh, we put it we set the multimeter on the continuity test and we did exactly uh, that now we know the second one is the ground we continue we still need to uh, the identify the functionality of pin 1 2 and 3 and it uh, does lead us to uh, the measurement test okay so the idea behind the uh, measurement test is to uh, first measure the resistance of the bins against uh, the ground and then against VCC uh, finally we will measure the voltage on these uh, bins you may ask where we get the VCC reference actually I already know that on the XMC chip here uh, there is a VCC we will uh, use uh, don't worry we will see that in the uh, next video but for now let's go to our a camera here I did a little bit uh, adjustment as you can see here um, I added this cable which is connected to the VCC reference we will use later uh, the ground is connected to the general ground and here our uh, multimeter is set to the resistance operating mode I will use the uh, red uh, probe in order to uh, measure the resistance on the bin we start with bin 4 it's around 5 then uh, bin 3 it's one when you see one that's mean it's very big resistance then bin 2 that's a zero it makes sense because it's a ground and then bin 1 and it will go around 35 34 uh, yes you see it's around 30 uh, 35 here okay now the second measurement is against the VCC so what I will do I will take uh, the black cable I will connect it to the uh, VCC reference okay so that's why now I need to change or switch here so the black cable will go here and the red cable uh, will be used to measure the resistance against the VCC against I start with the pin 4 that also should go around 39 78 yeah 39 uh, 40 okay it goes around 40 uh, bin number 3 it's again one very big bin number 2 that will go around 35 as well yeah around 35 and then pin number one it goes uh, to zero okay so now we finish the resistance measurement let's uh, switch back here I don't need now the VCC reference so I will connect the black cable against to uh, to ground let's connect it to ground here uh, now we need to measure the voltage the difference here is we need to power on the device so that's why I will uh, connect the power supply to the device okay uh, now also we will switch the multimeter to the voltage operating uh, mode and now let's uh, turn on the device and take the measurement the voltage measurement here you see it's varies between 2.4 till 3.3 on pin number four on pin number three it's zero there is no, no voltage in pin uh, number two 
it's zero also no voltage again it's a ground and in uh, pin number one it's around 3.4 yeah 3.3 so now we uh, have the measurement or all the pins uh, I already uh, wrote down this measurement here we can uh, check it and we make our uh, conclusion so uh, pin number one is the VCC because uh, you see the resistance against the uh, uh, VCC reference was zero there's a little bit resistance against the ground and the voltage is uh, 3.0 so that is uh, the VCC uh, ground we already uh, know this is uh, ground and uh, let's talk about pin number three so there was a little bit resistance when we measured to the ground and more resistance when we measured to VCC and most importantly the voltage is uh, all the voltage varies from 2.6 to 3.3 during the uh, the boot time so that's why that's most probably this is the TEX uh, pin number two it was a little bit uh, uh, different because we have a uh, big resistance in uh, either against the ground or against the VCC and there is no voltage and that's um, make the conclusion that this is not connected uh, pin. so so far we have uh, all the information we need so it's time to connect to the UART so let's see how we can do that uh, actually to connect to UART we need uh, two things uh, first we need this uh, UART to USB uh, adapter uh, that's uh, it's a very cheap board it comes uh, uh, with all this uh, bins here so ready to connect to UART and we need the uh, emulator um, in my case I'm using a uh, BicoCom but any other uh, emulator also uh, works like Minicom, Putty, whatever uh, you prefer <coughs> here uh, we see the uh, connection so of course the ground will go to ground and this is the important one uh, the RX on our adapter board will be connected to the TX on uh, our router so whatever uh, the router is transmitting it will go to our uh, rx here on the board and uh, usually uh, the tx will be connected to uh, rx on our device but uh, uh, as we noticed that uh, they removed the rx uh, bin and this is usually a uh, common uh, for security reason that uh, they uh, disconnect the rx so that means uh, the router uh, doesn't receive any command from uh, our side however uh, we will uh, uh, connect uh, this cable and just to make sure 100 percent that uh, the device doesn't receive anything from our side okay maybe now let's uh, go to see this in action um, as you can see here now i added the uh, board uh, i connected the ground to ground bin uh, the green tx is going to uh, uh, sorry the rx is going to tx and the uh, on the router and the blue cable uh, is uh, from uh, rx to tx here uh, let's get the terminal uh, before um, i think i need to uh, first uh, plug in you see now i plugged in the usb uh, you are to uh, usb adapter so if i run list uh, usb list usb and you would see it's here so it's a uh, ft232 serial uh, uart and usually this see you will see it if we list the uh, devices uh, this will be in the tty so i will list all the tty but most probably it will be on the uh, usb uh, zero sometimes uh, you might see here tty acm also zero but in my case it's uh, uh, tty usb zero okay now uh, i will use bicocom emulator so i will run the command uh, this is the bow trade as we uh, mentioned we need the uh, bow trade uh, how usually to uh, you can know the bow trade either you find it in the uh, documentation if there is uh, such a thing or uh, you try the most common uh, uh, bow rate so in this case this is the bow rate for uh, this UR so once I uh, hit enter uh, you see here 
uh, now uh, it's listening but of course there is uh, nothing now because the device is uh, off so i will power on uh, the device let's give an eye here on the uart so once on we can see now all this traffic uh, coming on the uart this is uh, uh, tells us now the device is booting uh, configuring all its uh, uh, internals the locks are important even though this is uh, just uh, um, uh, like we can't send anything let's first try if I hit any enter I can't type anything uh, that uh, confirms our uh, suspicion that they remove the uh, RX so the device doesn't receive anything from our uh, side uh, what I want to say that uh, the boot locks it's uh, really important because it gives you a lot of information uh, on the device uh, so uh, it's highly recommended that you uh, always analyze and go through uh, the boot locks uh, line by line i know that might uh, seems uh, boring but uh, here are uh, the information actually the true information because all of this is coming from uh, from the device uh, so yeah, um, I went through all these uh, logs and maybe if we go back to our uh, presentation uh, You would see that uh, okay, that's how I connected and uh, the information I extracted from the uh, boot logs That uh, we have a bootloader with the version 113 uh, This is the name of the board uh, raw link AP SOC and then we have a Linux version, interesting uh, a version 2.6.36. Uh, so it's an old uh, version. And the architecture, it's a MIPS uh, architecture here. Here we can see also the uh, command line that's passed to the kernel once the kernel started. And we can see here also uh, the uh, Squatch, which is the type of the uh, root file system uh, there. So all this information I extracted from the boot logs. Another uh, piece of information, uh, this will become very handy once we will uh, need to extract the kernel and the root uh, file system. So you can see here all the uh, addresses or all the partitions uh, already printed in the uh, boot and we're gonna use them uh, in our uh, next uh, or maybe the video after that. So as a summary now, uh, we, we learned the continuity test, we learned how to uh, measure the resistance uh, against the ground, against the VCC, and also measure the voltage on the bins. Uh, we found out that there is a UART, but uh, for security reasons, the RX is disabled so we we cannot send any uh, any command let's say from our uh, side uh, we learned that the bootloader is uh, uboot uh, 113 and we learned also there is a operating system with the linux uh, with linux version uh, 2636 and the root file system uh, squash uh, this is for uh, this video uh, in the next video we will uh, go through the uh, uh, chips it on the uh, PCB and we will dump the uh, firmware from the uh, flash memory so for now thank you for watching and I see you in the next uh, video ciao ciao